Last night I charged all my super capacitors to test them out and this morning I looked to see which ones held their charge the best. So these are five or a 2.7 volt super capacitors and this morning this one's holding almost 1.6 volts and again this one is holding about 1.6 volts in that range. All the rest were holding less so I'm going to use these two supercapacitors in this project. So what I'm going to do is here's a couple of protection boards they're obviously made for uh, supercapacitors with different terminals but I'm still going to solder these because to the board because these are cheap and so this is just going to be basically a prototype but in any case you can see these two boards come together and uh, you can break them apart if you want I did that the last time I soldered one of these to one of my super capacitors but uh, in this case I'm going to leave them together one thing you'll notice we got negative right next to positive so that's going to be easy to put them in series so now I kind of temporarily attach these circuit boards to the uh, super capacitor uh, negative sides here so I have the side of the capacitor with the negative indicator on there and I just kind of turned the little terminals there so they're touching the board and I used a little clear tape to temporarily hold the two boards so on the end I used a little bit and then over here where there's some space between the components I used uh, thin pieces of tape to just kind of hold them there until we solder them and so now I quickly soldered the boards to the terminals and you can see when I touch the other end of the pad and uh, the end of the capacitor terminal we get a beep and what that beep means is that we have a low resistance connection between the pad and the end of the capacitor terminal so now I took a piece of yellow wire to connect between the two capacitors and uh, because the polarity will be worried about are these outside ones and I kind of hooked the ends first I I cut the wire off here and then stripped the uh, insulation off the ends for bare wire I kind of hooked the ends to put her on there and I used a soldering iron to get it to stick a little bit to the solder there and I'll add a layer of uh, solder on top of that so now I did the same thing with the uh, red wire here and the black wire red to positive black wire to negative I kind of looped the end and used the existing solder to kind of hold it I temporarily heated the wire and the solder and then I added a layer of solder on top of it so now I know this doesn't look pretty but this was the first time I've done this so I didn't expect it to I learned a lot doing this next time of course will be better but uh, in any case I'll show you why I put these two capacitors in series so now I have the multimeter hooked up we're looking at uh, voltages you can see here now we have 3.1 volts across the meter so the uh, capacitors now I didn't charge them at all they got the same charge and if you remember they're only rated for 2.7 volts anyways we're above that what we actually have is the voltage added up between the uh, capacitors because they're in series that's what uh, series capacitors do whether they're super capacitors or regular capacitors their uh, voltage goes up because they're in series but their capacitance goes down so we can have twice the voltage but uh, half of the capacitance we can get up to 5.4 volts so as you see right now we got 3.1 uh, volts about if you remember at the beginning of the video we measured these we had about 1.5 each and as I said I didn't do anything to these capacitors other than the uh, soldering of the protection board there so we can just measure the capacitors directly this one has again about 1.5 volts and then this one 1 1.5 volts but uh, they're in series so we can have double the voltage obviously electronics needs a certain amount of voltage to work and that's why you put capacitors in series 
they're only rated for 2.7 volts and you can't do much with 2.7 volts but you can put them in series and increase the voltage but uh, again like I said the capacitance goes down